I bought a lift jack that's meant just for getting boat lifts up onto a floating platform. And then we'll float it back into shore. Wish me luck! It's October in Minnesota. It's supposed to be sunny with fall colors. Well, we, ha we have the fall colors across there. But we also have a submerged boat lift that got stuck in a flooded lake. Our lake is flooded because it does nothing but rain this year. And so here I am in my full uh, snorkeling gear that I just bought and uh, a $400 jack that I had to purchase so that I can get it up on floats. And I got to float it into shore where it's safe from the ice. Ice jams will destroy it in the spring. All right, you guys, I'm going for a swim on a day when Minnesota has a winter storm warning going on just west of here, and it's moving this way. So I got to get this sunken boat lift out of here by putting them up on these floats. And I purchased this $400 crank that includes the shipping and stuff, and I'm not selling the crank, so I'm not even going to tell you where I got it. Um, because if they want me to do that, they can give me one. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I'm not promoting anything. I bought this with my own money. I'm going to crank this up onto floats, and I'm going to walk it in by myself into the shallow part. And that place then, my friends, is where we can come out with waders and lift it up onto land. But this is how you get your boat lift out of the deep water. You just basically put it on floats. I set it here so it's ready to go. It's just floating freely. I'm going to, I jacked that side up. I'll show you that. And then I'm going to jack this side up and put another float. Can you believe one float will support half of that? And I'll just put another float on this side. It can be done by myself. The YouTube video that I watched took two guys to do this. And uh, four floats or a bunch of foam. They were using foam. But uh, I'm going to float my own boat. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? No, I'm going to float my own boat lift up and get it into the shallow uh, end of the lake. Get it up on land before the winter storm hits. Watch this. With this suit on, the water is actually very uh, enjoyable. It's just like swimming in the summer. It's not painful at all. I thought it'd be freezing cold. It's not. this up with this jack that I bought. It's got one end up, put floaters on it. Now I'm going to just walk it in as shallow as I can. No snowstorm is going to stop me. It's not snowing yet. I got to get this puppy in though. Oh, there we go. Sailing, sailing over the deep blue sea. Ah. It's stuck in the in the reeds here. In the roots. Just like a pirate. <laughs> I take care of my own problem. The key to it is just take breaks once in a while. I'm staying warm, that's for sure. I might not even need this hat anymore. That's keeping the rain out of my eyebrows. If I get this in shallow enough, I can jack it up again and put the bottom platform onto the floaters. Continue floating it in. That'd be easier with two people. But I don't have two people. What a winter storm coming. We gotta get her done. I'm making progress, yo. Let's see if I can get this side up on floats. Well, actually, if I get that side on, it's higher up than I can 
continue whacking him in. There it is, the finished product. I got the boat lift in out of the flooded lake by myself by using this jack that I bought that I'm not promoting. I spent good money on it actually. And uh, there it is. It's sitting on blocks on this end, floaters on that end. The ice will not ruin this boat launch this winter. It is quite amazing that this wetsuit kept me perfectly warm. I feel like, you know, I've been in the water for about two hours. And I feel like I've just been swimming. I actually feel really good. I had good exercise, good time with this quiet nature out here, and uh, just being one with the lake. This is awesome. I love living in Minnesota. Even though it's hard work and you get things like flooded lakes that you can't get your boat left in, no such thing as can't. This is life, you guys. This is what turns my crank. And uh, I'm having fun. And I love sharing it with you guys. Thanks for coming along to a Minnesota wintry adventure. Swim in the lake.